Hello everybody, Corey here. In this video, we are going to go over the trades and holdings for Friday, May 24th uh, for YBIT. Just a reminder, I'm not a qualified licensed investment or financial advisor. I'm just here to gather the data and present it to you so you can form, uh, make your own decisions and form your own opinions. As a reminder, Yield Max ETFs are extremely risky. Please make sure you understand the risk in these. These are solely income ETFs and not growth ETFs. So, let's go to here. Okay. So, we have the trades here for today. So, you can see that we had two short calls that expire today with the strike prices of $28 and $30. And it looks like we closed at the end of the day at twenty eight oh seven. Um, they ended up actually paying uh, throughout the day to close these out anyway at four and five cents a share. And then, yeah. And so, okay. So then they've uh, rolled all of these to next week, uh, next Friday's expiration with a twenty eight dollar and fifty cent strike price. Um, for those shares there. So you can see they brought in $127,000. Uh, and then you can see those new shares on that top line there. But let's zoom in some. Uh, I guess I should make it so we can see everything on one screen. There we go. All right, so YBIT today um, went up $0.26. Cents. Our outstanding shares, let's see. Our outstanding shares did not change. And so far, I have uh, on my sheet documented that they have received a dollar and 17 cents in premium. Um, so that doesn't mean that's what they'll pay out. And that may or may not be 100% accurate. As you know, the trades, uh, we just get them from their website, which may or not may or may not be 100% accurate all the time. Um, but yeah, so we can see here we have this short call for next week, 28.50 strike price. But we're only underneath this by 2% or 43 cents. So just to put that out there, the value, the market value of this is bringing the stock price down um, $39. And so this is wrong because this was before... I changed my formula that I keep doing manually because I just not taken the time to change it. Okay, sorry about that. I just happen to see it. It's probably felt like that every day and I'm not paying attention. Um, but anyway, then we have our synthetic position here that expires in less than a month now. Uh, we have two holidays between now and then, um, but we are we have a strike price of thirty six dollars, and <clears throat> we are below that by twenty two percent. So, and then of course the rest of this is cash right here. So just to go over that, and then let's look at our prices. So I started doing this, and I didn't finish. So I just anyway, let's let's start over here because we were just talking on. Well, I was talking on Reddit, and then I was talking on Discord, and then I remembered something. But anyway, so we have the YBIT data and the BIDO data, which is uh, the only underlying at the second. And then we can see that BIDO itself did better because uh, Bitcoin uh, did end up going up. But if we look over here and we do some comparisons with all the these. Now, I will say I just added this column, BITX. Um and it might have color codes only because I just copied one of these other columns. Um, so, yeah. And it this is all, uh, I went back and pulled the formula up so you can see all of this data. Uh, what I didn't do is I didn't like try to compare it to anything. Uh, if I was going to compare it, then I can see here that 
we did um, do better on that day. And then let's see. I guess I should have done this beforehand. I didn't think about marking it. Of course, this is not uh, a covered call ETF or anything, but it is Bitcoin related and it is paying a distribution. But I did put it in this column separately like this. Um, and then I've marked it as blue because this is going to be something totally different with it being uh, like a two times... Um, so obviously, I didn't even do that the right color, did I? Of course, we should. You would expect that any green it would be better, but that may or may not um, be accurate. Yeah, like so, right here we can see that. Um, Bitcoin was 3.1, but BitX is only 1.1. So, of course, I didn't look at all these. I was really just looking at the lines with the green line because if I figure if it was red, then it would be down more than everybody. So, like this isn't, yeah, I'm not going to make that one. Oh, that one was almost two times, wasn't it? And like some of these it is, and some of it's not like this. Well, if you look at this one right here, the other day it went up six and a half, but BitX only went up eight and a half. But of course we have the new distribution thing, and I didn't have it on my computer. I mean, I didn't pull it up on my phone ahead of time. So we're not going to take any chances of pulling up my photos um, let's see, so the X dividend date, the 22nd here, so this date, I'm gonna, I need to do something out of the blue because I need to add in, change the formula to bring in the distribution amount, but on this date, and I don't even have a column for it yet, uh, but they ended up having a distribution of point ninety six seventy seven so almost ninety seven cents there um yep and then this one all right now I don't have all of the other other columns or any of that stuff I just did this right before uh this video because we were talking about it um but yeah, so anyway, it's another option. If y'all have any other ones, you know, um, let me know and I can add them here. And actually, I say that somebody said something about one the other day and I was like, oh, I never heard of that. But then I looked it up. Yeah, it's this one. But I was like, oh, it's not the same. But here I am adding this one. So then it's like, well, should I just add this other one? So... B-I-T-U is a ProShares Ultra Bitcoin, but I don't know anything about it, so let me see. So it does have a distribution, but it was, and it was for this month, and it was one, let me make sure, it says one and a half cents. That's surely to goodness that's wrong, right? One and a half cent. Hold on. Profile. Date of listing, April 1st. So this is a brand new fund. Two times Bitcoin index. Bloomberg Bitcoin index. So then that makes me... Are they planning on doing a distribution every month?
Yeah, I don't know about this bit U one with its whole one and a half cent distribution, but in its perspectives here, and I didn't go through this whole thing, I went really quickly to the spot that said distributions. It just says, as a shareholder on a fund record date, you will earn a share of the investment income and net realized capital gains of any derived um, from a fund's direct security holdings and derivative instruments. You will receive such earnings as either an income, dividend, or capital gains distribution. Each fund intends to declare and distribute net investment income, if any, and net realized capital gains, if any, to its shareholders at least annually. Subject to board approval, some or all of any net realized capital gains distribution may be declared payable in either additional shares or, uh, sorry, additional shares of the distributing fund or in cash. Distributions may be declared and paid more frequently to comply with the distribution requirements of the Internal Revenue Code or for other reasons. Um, so, yeah, that's what this distribution section says on this prospectus. So I'm not really sure. Um, well, and you know what? Um, this thing, okay, so it listed April 1st and had its first um, ex-dividend date May 1st, so in one month. It, I wish I'd had this pulled up on my thing, but I didn't think anything about it till just now, so I'm on my phone. Sorry. Um, it did pay one and a half cent for that month, but I want to see real quick. Uh, so this fund, though, it shows, and this may or may not be 100% accurate, but this shows it opened up at $34.91. Um on this is April 2nd so almost $35 and it's up to almost 37 so I don't know y'all let me know this is BITU that somebody had mentioned to me and there may be some others out there and y'all just let me know if y'all want me to just you know add them here or add any of them here or what you want me to do I don't really care uh, either way but anyway, uh, looking at today overall, it looks like bid. Well, it looks like uh, I guess BTX technically did better, right? Because we were green, we went up at six percent. But Bido here, uh, three point two percent, with the lowest one here being Bitcoin at point nine percent, uh, and then the next being Ybit at one point three percent change. But anyway. Um, yeah, and that's just the rankings and no distributions here. Uh, but anyway, let me know what y'all want to do as far as adding additional, um, you know, Bitcoin-related um, things that have distributions or whatever here. What, you, what exactly you want to see. I know this is just sort of a mess, and there's lots of colors and things going on here just because I was playing with it last week, and I did percentages, and then I did rankings and, you know, just trying to see who I thought, uh, you know, or who was doing better when. And if you're new to watching this, uh, it appears that, you know, that on the days that Bitcoin was doing great, Maxi was doing better majority of the time. And the days that Bitcoin was down, Ybit was better the majority of the time. Um, but then, of course, and... I didn't mention this, especially if you're new, but at the top here, um, this row right here, these numbers are the percentage since the inception of Ybit. The percentage didn't change from that date to now. So April 23rd looks like it was its first date. So we're actually into this a month now. And so now the one thing with this is, is Ybit hasn't had uh, a distribution or anything. Um, so it's just you know, based on its stock price, unlike these other ones, like Bitto, YBTC, and Maxi, they've all had distributions um, added back in to theirs. So, and we can see those here. 
Um, and these were like right after the inception of YBIT. Um, so you can see Maxi with 15 cents, YBTC with $2.05, and then Bitto with $1.68. And they were just, you know, all right behind uh, the inception of YBIT. So anyway, just to mention that in case, like I said, this is sort of new to you. But let me know what y'all want to see. And I uh, appreciate y'all hanging out with me. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.